I'm Rex. I'm an engineer on the Dagster project. In the following section, we'll show how you can quickly integrate a DBT project as software-defined assets in Dagster, how you can model explicit upstream and downstream dependencies from other data platform technologies alongside your DBT project, how to add monitoring and alerting to your data assets, and finally, how to schedule your materializations of your data assets to occur at a regular cadence. Let's get started. We're going to start off with a Devil Shop DPT project and supercharge it piece by piece with Dagster. We'll first scaffold the project to allow Dagster to load your entire DPT project as software defined assets. We provide a built in utility to do this in our integration library. Here, we're creating a new project called Devil Shop Dagster, and that'll contain our scaffolded code. We can see in our directory that we have a set of Dagster definitions to load our DPT project. Next, We'll visualize our project in the Dagster UI to see our assets, their dependencies, and much more. The Dagster UI is the single pane of glass that allows you to monitor the status of your data platform and data assets. First off in the UI is the asset graph overview. We can see the individual assets in our current project and how they relate to one another. And currently, this just contains all the assets modeled in our Jaffel Shop project. And we can search for models and filter accordingly. So for example, uh, we can filter for any model that matches the word customers. And we can also do a case sensitive match for the actual customer's model and show all models upstream of it. We can also materialize these dbt assets, and this will launch a run to execute dbt build on our project. And of course, this can be customized depending on our needs. As this computation proceeds, we'll be able to see met events and metadata about our computation. And these events indicate what dbt models have been materialized, what tests have been run, what's been emitted to standard out, and much more. So we can scroll through the logs and also filter these logs for events that relate to, say, for example, our customer's model. And we can also look through the standard out that's been emitted by executing this dbt command. We can also dive deeper into a single asset. For example, in this customer's asset, we can see all the events that have been materialized for this model as well as when it was last materialized. We can also look at this asset's metadata and definitions. And furthermore, we can look at the lineage associated with this model to get a more granular view of uh, its dependencies. So with Dagster, we're not just limited to managing data assets created in dbt. We can actually define upstream and downstream dependencies to our dbt models using Python. So in the following example, we'll convert one of our dbt seeds into an upstream dependency. And furthermore, we'll create a downstream dependency that creates a target visualization of a fresh dbt model for use in reporting. So let's start off by creating an upstream dependency to our DBT project. Here, we're converting our raw customer seed into an asset defined in Python. We'll first indicate that the DBT seed is now a source, meaning that it is managed externally from DBT. And we'll also update any SQL models that depend on it so that they load from this source. Next, we'll create a new file that defines our upstream and downstream dependencies in Python. So here in our upstream asset, 
we are loading the raw customer's data using Pandas and then storing it in our DuckDB database. And in our downstream asset, we create a simple report that shows the distribution of the number of customer of the number of orders per customer. And then we save that as metadata so that we can view it in our Dagster UI. And then to see this in the UI, we add these two new definitions to our Dagster definitions object. And then finally, we can reload our view in the Dicer UI so that we can see all of our assets together. And we can see this new raw customer's asset that's defined in Python, as well as the customer's report uh, defined in Python as well. And we can see any models that depend on this raw customer's model is now marked as stale because there is a new code definition associated with this asset. Now we can materialize all these assets together and Dagster will launch computations to load our raw data into DuckDB, build our DBT project, and then finally create that chart that we defined earlier. And these are all three separate computation steps. And we can see that the plot has been created and we can view it in our browser. So we can also use Dagster to augment our existing DBT computations so that we can monitor and alert on them. So here, we're gonna add capabilities so that we can create a custom notification to Slack when our DBT models materialize. We are importing uh, our Slack integration with Dagster and we're creating a Slack resource so that we can create a client for our Slack application. Next, we'll reconfigure our existing dbt command so that we can access the dbt artifacts associated with this command after it's been run. Here, we want to retrieve the run results JSON so that we can use it to build our Slack message. Then we'll instantiate our connection to Slack so that we can create a message with this run, run results JSON. And in the Slack message, we're just outputting the DPT CLI message for each successfully materialized model. And we're sending this to our data platform Slack channel. Now we can rerun our computations. And after our computations succeed, we can check our Slack channel to see that a Slack message has been successfully sent. When we open up our Slack workspace, we'll see that the message has been sent. Now to ensure that our data assets are up to date, we want to run them on a schedule. In our existing scaffold, we're given a schedule that only materializes our DPT assets. But we just added two new upstream and downstream assets. So let's incorporate all of our assets onto the same schedule. Here, we'll create a new schedule that selects all of our data assets and materializes them on a daily cadence.
we'll name the schedule materialize dbt with dependencies and this will select all of our assets including our dbt models and upstream and downstream dependencies and we'll make it so that it materializes them on a daily cadence Once we save this, we can go back to our UI and we can refresh our definitions so that we can see our new schedule that contains all the assets that we want to materialize. And we can see our new schedule here. We can see once we turn it on, we can see that next tick is going to happen tomorrow at 12 a.m. UTC. And that's it. We've shown concretely how Dagster supercharges DBT by solving its common pain points. Dagster allows you to, one, express your computations with Python instead of just Jinja and SQL. Two, integrate your data platform. You can understand how all of your tools and data assets relate to one another in one central control plane. And you can configure alerting and monitoring that works for you and your team. And three, you can materialize your selected data assets together at desired times. With Dagster, knowing how and when your data will update will never be a guessing game.